I seriously love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's exactly what I wanted. By the so way, this huge laundry basket is from Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. It's amazing. You can fit like four loads of laundry in this basket but I put all of his clothes from the old dresser in this hamper. So I'm just going to dump it on the bed and I'm gonna have to refold like everything probably. And yeah, so that's the plan for that. Um, I'm just gonna like dump it all here. We're gonna refold it and we're gonna get it back added into the drawer. I do fold everything Kamari. I try to at least fold everything the Kamari way. It just makes the most sense. I just like to be able to like see everything I have but I also need to like go through and see like where he wants his shirts at because this is different. This actually has more drawers than our old one. So I could probably just figure it out. But yeah, I'm just going to take everything out of this basket and then we're going to get everything folded and add it back in. Okay, so what I did was I made little sticky notes. These are just like sticky of what I want to go in each drawer. So I have like workout shorts, workout shirts. I just kind of went through all of his stuff and made sticky notes. And then if I planned it correctly, he should have two empty ones at the bottom where he can do whatever he wants with those. Um, but I think that should be enough drawer space. And if I have to use the ones at the bottom, we will, but everything is organized. So let's go ahead and get everything folded and then we can add it back in. Okay, so I wanna share with you guys how to fold Kamari. I've been doing this now probably for about three years. The idea behind it is when you open your drawer, you should be able to just see everything like upright so you don't have to like go through stuff and nothing's underneath it. So it's super simple to do. So if you're doing a pair of pants, first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a flat surface and I can do this super fast. I'm just doing it slow so you guys can see how I'm doing it. So you just want to fold the pants. So you just take the pant and you fold it. And then I take the crotch part and fold that in. And then you want to bring the pants up. You want to keep a slight gap at the top. Do you guys see that gap? So you want to keep, you don't want to bring it all the way up. You want to keep a slight gap and then you want to fold it and then fold it again. And that is it. That is how you fold pants. And the idea is you want it stacked up in your drawer like that so you can see everything and everything will go behind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the pants. Let me show you guys how to do the shirts. So shirts are really simple as well. And like I said, I've been doing this for years so I can have a load of laundry done like super fast, but I'm doing it slow so you guys can see it. Shirts really simple. You just take one side Bring that sleeve in, take the other side, bring this sleeve in, and then you want to take the top part and you kind of want to leave a small gap. So you see that small gap and then you can just fold it and fold it again. And there is your shirt and it can stack in your drawer and that way all your shirts can go behind it and you can see it. So super simple. You can go as slow as fast as you want. Once you kind of do it so much, it's like super easy. And then shorts, just so you guys can see, cause I'm gonna speed this up. Shorts are super easy. You just fold it in half, take the crotch, fold that in, bring the end, keep a little bit of a gap. And then since it's shorts, you just do it one more time. And there are your shorts, super simple. So yeah. I'm just going to do this one super fast now.
everything is folded nice and neat. Since he has extra drawers, I'm gonna add his Christmas pajamas at the bottom. Um, but I just kinda wanted to share with you guys how the shirts look. You can see it stands upright, especially if it has multiple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add, I need to take the plastic off of that one. But you can see I added his shorts. Now I used to color coordinate everything, but that was just something I couldn't keep up with, so I just stopped doing it. So I just mainly do like shorts, and then short sleeves in a drawer. So let me add all this stuff back in and then we'll work on mine. Our friend came to join us, Blissies with Ryan, but Bentley's in here with me today. I can't believe how much more drawer space we have. We do have about two loads of laundry that still needs to be folded, but for the most part, like we have extra, I think I'm gonna have some extra drawers too. So which this one, that one is workout shorts. It's a drawer. I love how organized it looks. Like I said, you can color coordinate everything, but I don't. I just, as long as I can see what's in here, I love the graphic tees. You can see what's on the graphic tees and it's just really nice that you can see everything. You don't have to unfold to get to everything. You can see his white shirts, his graphic tees, like everything's just nice and organized. So I just added everything from like the old dresser into this basket besides my workout clothes. I'm gonna keep that in that dresser and just do that all workout clothes since I have so many. This is just like all my lounge clothes. And I needed to refold it because it was starting to get really messy. So I just threw it in here. So I'm gonna refold it and then we're gonna add it to this chest. Everything folded, well I'm missing a lot because we still have like two loads of laundry that needs to be folded, but this is what I'm gonna get put in my chest and I should have a lot of space to add the clean laundry when it's done in the wash. I actually ordered an organizer to go in this top one for my underwear, so that should be here any minute now, honestly. It says it would be here soon. That's probably my phone going off saying they're on their way. I love how it comes with this like nice liner. That is really nice. So yeah, the top one's gonna be underwear. And then the bottom one is going to be bras. And then I'm gonna do uh, matching sets and this one. Can do shirts and pants and this one I wanted to share with you guys how the organizer looks in the drawer. Look how amazing this is. I'm not even done building it. I still have more I can add. I did the two pack, but you can also buy a four pack as well. And I think I should have bought the four pack because I want to do this in my husband's drawer too. But I just love all the little compartments where you can stick either underwear or socks in and it'll just make your drawer super organized. So I'm going to go ahead and finish building this, but this is just so nice. I can't believe I didn't have this before. Okay, so the chest in the master closet is actually empty. I was able to fit everything in here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna store in there yet. I'm thinking like uh, winter clothes can go in there, but underwear is in here. And then this is all of my sports bras and socks. And I also have my regular bras in this with underwear. And then this is all of my Orange Theory clothes. So workout clothes are all there. Um, this is a mixture of different things, but I wanted to do all shirts, shirts. This is dresses and shorts. And then this is all of my pants. 
And then this one is all my matching pajama sets and lounge sets are in this one. And then the bottom one, since it's like summertime, I'm not really grabbing my sweatpants or sweaters. So I just folded some of my sweatshirts and I actually have some more that I can put in here. And then these are my sweatpants. And that is all of my drawers. Okay, now we're moving on to dinner. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to make my simple and easy 30 minute spaghetti. Like this is like our go-to meal when I can't think of anything to make because it uses minimal ingredients, it takes 30 minutes, it's so easy. So you wanna chop up one onion, and then you wanna heat up a pan with some olive oil and you want to saute the onion until it's translucent. I actually saved a little bit of the onion for the salad I'm gonna be making later, but you can put the full onion in there. And then I added about two tablespoons of some minced garlic and then you're gonna go ahead and add a pound of any meat. So you can do ground turkey or ground beef. I'm using ground beef, but I do ground turkey a lot as well. Um, and then you wanna season your meat up with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. Remember those seasonings because that's gonna be the seasoning we're gonna use throughout that video. How I get my spaghetti super flavorful is you want to season every single layer. So we season the meat, we drained it, we added it back to the pan. Here's the sauce I'm sharing with you guys. It has all clean ingredients. I get it from Aldi. Make sure you get a really good sauce. You don't want one that's high in like syrup and sugars. Like that's just gonna mess this recipe up. You just want a clean ingredient one, no added preservatives. So go ahead and add your pasta sauce to the meat mixture and then we're going to season again. So we're gonna season salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning again. And we're also gonna season another time when we add the noodles. This just ensures that the recipe stays super flavorful. This recipe just has so much flavor, you guys. So seasoning this up, gonna give it a good mix in, and then we're gonna let it sit on the stove top for a few minutes. So I have the sauce just simmering. The noodles are all done. Drain them and now I'm adding them to the pasta sauce mixture. You wanna give it a good mix and you guys probably guessed we're seasoning again. So you're gonna go ahead and season now with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning. I told you we're gonna be using that seasoning a lot. Season it very well, give it a good mix. So now the final part is to add the cheese on top. So usually I just use Parmesan, but I tried something different today and did half Parmesan, half mozzarella, and it was so good. I like them both. So you don't have to have Parmesan and mozzarella. You can just use one or you can use both like I did today. And you can use about a half a cup to a cup depending on how much cheese you like. And this is how it will look. You just let it sit on the stove top till all the cheese is melted. I topped it with some parsley and we were done. I had this with a side salad and some garlic bread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.